Hey, I'm back with another Dollar Tree DIY and today I made this cute farmhouse heart using all things from the Dollar Tree except for that checkered bow you see there at the top. It can be a hanging sign or you can also prop it up and display it with your other Valentines or just regular home decor. Keep watching to see how I made it. So I'm starting off with this wooden heart from the Dollar Tree and they sell these in the Valentine section and I'm going to remove this red ribbon and I ended up giving it two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in their color ink, it's just their black. And like I always say, the chalk paint I like it because it dries fast and it dries matte. And you can get this, I get mine at Walmart, but I'm sure there are a number of places you can get it. So I ended up giving it two full coats and then I have these heart doilies from the Dollar Tree. You get 30 pieces for a dollar. So I'm obviously going to have some leftover that I can use in another project. And I have some Mod Podge. Also, you can pick this up at the Dollar Tree. And I used way too much. I do this every time but I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge, oh no, stop, on the heart, on the wooden heart, so I can stick the doily on top of it. And you wanna smooth it out and press it on. Try to get all the wrinkles and the air bubbles out. So it's nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna go ahead and coat the rest of the heart with the Mod Podge just so everything has the same finish. And once that dried, I decided to um, add more doilies to it because it was kind of see-through still. So I'm adding another layer of Mod Podge to the top of the paper doily. And then sticking the second one on there. That was after it dried and then I decided, oh, we're gonna need a second one because it's kind of see-through. And you have to line it up perfectly so you still have your little holes showing through with the black. Same thing, press it on there. And I ended up doing three. After that third one, give it one more final coat of Mod Podge. And then that's gonna need to dry for a while. And once it was dry, I pulled the third heart. I've used two of these on other projects that you may have seen on my Instagram. I pulled this last one off so I got good use out of this sign and I'm going to use some hot glue to glue it right into the center of the paper doily. Just put some glue around the edges and I recently purchased a high temperature glue gun and I forget how hot it gets so when I was pressing this down it was it was hot through the metal, obviously, so be careful if you have one of the high temperature glue guns. 
So this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to take the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. This is something I always have on hand because I use it in projects all the time. So anytime I see it at the Dollar Tree, it's just one of the things I grab. So I always have a backup in case I run out. And I'm just going to hot glue this all the way around the edge of the heart to give it kind of a rustic farmhouse look and also to make the edge seem more finished. When I got to the other side, I just cut it off so it would line up perfectly with the edge of where I started. And now for my favorite part, the fire. With this nautical rope, it does have some fibers that stick off of it. So anytime I use twine or this nautical rope, once I have it put on, I take the lighter all the way around the edge of it and it just singes off those little fibers and it's really satisfying to do and watch. And I also strangely love how it smells. So yeah, this is my favorite part, enjoy. Use caution though, don't burn your house down. Don't burn your finger. My kids are playing Uno in the other room. I don't know if you can hear that. And try to get it really good on that end there where there's kind of some frayed edges. And then I'm taking one of these bows. This was from Walmart and it was in their Christmas section this year. And I picked up a couple extra because I just love the black and white buffalo check. I think it can be used um, all year long, mostly in winter and Christmas time. And I'm cutting the ties off the back and I'm going to glue it over the spot where the nautical rope ends came together, just to kind of cover the, the imperfection of it, I guess, and to add a cute touch. And then, in case I want to hang it, I just cut off some twine. And this sign is not very heavy, so just hot gluing it to the back is sufficient. I've never had an issue with, with these signs falling when I make them like this. So just make a little dot of hot glue, press your twine onto there, measure how long you want it. Put your dot of hot glue on the other side. I'm just going to trim those extra edges off. And that is it. Hopefully that gives you some inspiration of something you can make either for Valentine's Day in any color or style with these materials.